Welcome, fellas and ladies. First question is from a young lady. I believe I did a show on her, but I think it canceled or got fucked up on YouTube, and I just said, fuck it. Uh, Boo Boo Kitty. Hello, Mr. Player. I don't know what I should do. All my friends are breaking up with their mate. I have been engaged for almost a year now with the same guy I have been with for three and a half years. But after I told him what has been going on with my friends, he has changed. We are in a long distance relationship, which by the way is very, very hard to do. I will be moving in with him in April. I'm lost and I don't know what to do. I don't want to end up like all of my friends, hurt and depressed. What should I do? Uh, the only thing you can do there, Kitty, is uh, communication. But unfortunately, fellas, we run from communication. Most young guys don't want to talk about stuff like that. Uh, right now, you're overreacting because your friends are all breaking up. So you think it's going to happen to you. So, of course, you're going to project that fear into the relationship and scare him away also. But if he truly loves you, he'll stick by your side. If he runs, it wasn't meant to be. He didn't love you strong enough anyway. So, uh, good luck in this, but stop projecting the fear that you're having because of your friends and placing it on him. That's a hard burden for a man to carry. Okay? Negative people. Hey, Supreme, I just want to say that I bought your confidence kicker and it's going great. I'm on day 45. Congratulations, The Harbor. And I feel more confident. So I recently heard one of your podcasts, and you said that you got rid of the negative people around you. My question is, what can I do if my family is negative? Any advice? I'm 19. I live with my mom, so I can't just leave the house. But within your own bedroom, you can create a shrine of peace, so to speak. When you close the door, you shut out all that negativity. You want to uh, set your bedroom up so that everything in there is devoted to your relaxation and to your success. Put success posters on the wall. Create a mind movie. Okay? Just like I show you, showed you guys how in that Confidence Kicker program. And whenever you feel stressed, go in there and watch your mind movie. It's important that you reprogram yourself. Every time a stressful situation comes down, reprogram your subconscious mind otherwise you will absorb that negative uh, energy and that negativity and it comes out in your life in various ways uh, you may be dating someone psst, your girl suddenly decides she don't like you anymore and it's probably just the vibe you're giving off that will cause that too but don't absorb the negativity make sure it stops at your door okay really stop it at your door on the metaphysical side put a you could put a uh, glass of salt in front of the door when you do that, that'll keep out the negative energy, but that's metaphysics. Mumbo-jumbo stuff. Um, listen, start listening to peaceful music. And as you guys know, I, I, I don't hate rap music because I listen, I used to listen to rap music. And when I turn on my radio, I, if I ever listen to music, that's what I'll listen to a lot of times, if not the oldies, but uh, rap music can be very angry and, and the vibe of the music the beat you know it gets me pumping but it's also has a negative aspect to it okay so you got to be aware of that it's okay to listen to rap as long as you balance out your music if you have to listen to it balance it out with something peaceful I like uh, new age music I like classical music uh, I like love songs you know, some of those simping shit. I just listened to one. Uh, go on uh, YouTube here. Look for Sun. And what's the name of that song? I just posted on my forum. It's by Sun. And let me see if I can get that real quick. Unfortunately, I don't recall the title. Uh, Zenmac.com. Let's go on there and take a look at... Now, the song's a major simp song, but every now and then, you know, you start listening to something nice, basically. And let's see, what do we have here as post? Don't get too hung up on being a player. Uh, how to deal, how do you lead this woman to the next level? For the brothers only, fear of confrontation, taming of the shrew, the old funny papers, it might be there. 
nope. That's a, um, we did a clothing analysis of some uh, goob off of SoSemp, so posted some photos. Uh, examples of Buff Nerd. Ah, yes, here it is. Old player programming. Son, I had a choice. That's the song that I uh, listened to today. Look, kind of a major simp song. It's about a player who goes out and plays, and then he realizes he made a mistake. It's how they were trying to program players back in the days. But basically, listen to good music. That's what I'm saying. Not violent music, not uh, fast music. Because it does have an effect on your body. Every now and then, when you go to your sanctuary, as you want to call your bedroom now, uh, you want peace. All right, so let's see what time I have. Okay, good. Isuk says, I'm back. What's good, player? I remember you telling me how to leave a bitch if she ain't feeling the funk. Fuck that. Well, I, after I left the bitch, I've been following your steps. Me, my friend, took some girls to the club, and we had guys wanting to be all over them. But I learned from you and how you said just ignore the bitch if she's getting all the attention. By the end of the night, I had one of the women texting, sending me pictures of her, and I was like, what the fuck? Now, I've been with three women after you told me to leave the bitch and I'm doing I advise I don't tell fellas do anything I advise and I'm doing that play a thing and been getting women from left to right and out of every three girls I meet I fuck one and I'm learning to communicate with these women all women want is a confident male that's why you guys definitely want to take my confidence kicker program Save up your money if you have to. Uh, price is not going to ever come down. If not, it'll, it, for 51 fucking days of training, uh-uh. It, it's, it's a steal. It's like nothing. So save your money. And he goes on to say, good shit, play a supreme. Well, thank you there, brother. Uh, be careful you're not doing that feminine thing of sitting waiting for a bitch to choose real hard on you also. If she gives you two sex via contact, step to her and take it. Don't sit around and play with it. Don't be like a cat and a mouse playing with his food. Get the shit, get your shit handled, deal, seal the deal, put it on your team. Otherwise you sit there, you know, trying to bat your eyes, look like a bitch, that doesn't get the job done. Let's get you up from, you know, out of every three, you get every three. Okay? Alright, fellas, good luck in your game this weekend. Today is Saturday, and I want you guys to hit the clubs. Get out there and dance. Uh, if you have any problems with my dance program, uh, day 17, 17, sorry, 17 through 20, I just re-uploaded them to a, a hidden server. And uh, if you're in the program only, because I will check your um, the records if you write me and say you're having a problem with it, I'll give you a link to that. Okay. Uh, send me your uh, PayPal receipt for the for the program, basically. Yeah. Send me your PayPal receipt, and then we can talk, and I'll get you the link. But you got to prove that you're in the program. You'll get uh, days, an alternative to day 17 through day 20, because some people say they download it, and they're having trouble playing it. I don't know why. Uh, I suggest using different players, but I think something happens in the download process, because it's on the Media Temple server. And Media Temple sucks major ass. I don't like Media Temple. I, I got a bunch of stuff on HostGator out there, which is a different s company. But so far, I've had nothing but trouble out of this, this server company. Um, that's why I'm moving my site, ZenMac, off of there. Because when you try to download products, you know, half the time, everybody's stuff, or people's stuff was getting corrupted. So I said, fuck that. I never had a problem with HostGator. Not once. People get their stuff. It comes down fast. Um... It's not slow like the other one and everything else, so it will now will now be on uh, Host Gator instead of Beta Temple. And I'm also combining all my products into one uh, shopping cart. So you'll go to just one place, get all my stuff, check out, okay? Uh, I won't need as many sites out there running around. That's why I did that. I stopped using the Media Temple and started going to Host Gator and putting my stuff there because 
I was having so much trouble with that company. And, you know, it was recommended to me because it was high tech and there's like shared server stuff and all that is is a shared mess, a shared hot mess. So we will be delivering better service to you guys in the future. Stay up, fellas.